Hey, what up? It's P.T. Sean, and welcome to the Fab Line. You know, where I took a couple shots and talk a little fab. And I got a special guest with here, my boy Darnell. Say what's up. Man, what's going on? How y'all doing? Nah, man, that's that's not enough, man. That's how you say what's up, man. You gotta you gotta try again, bro. I don't know what that means. Yeah, what's up? Hey. Nah, I'm supposed to say that, but nah, that's the wrong answer, bro. Hey, what's up? How y'all doing? What you mean, bro? That is two zeros, bro. Bro, you are owing two right now. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> All right, man. I don't even know what that was. All right. So yeah, we're gonna hop straight into new baller news as we do. All right, so let's talk about this rush book problem. I'm gonna have to say I wrote this before a very crazy game he had. Also, I have this in my notes too. So Westbrook is not starting the season on a good foot. He shot 163 shots and had 163 points. Do that make any sense, bro? Yeah, that's kind of crazy. I ain't gonna lie. God damn, he always been a shooter. Dude, you know he missed 90% of those shots every time, bro. <laughs> Dude, he gonna out here make you look great, bro. <laughs> he like, oh, you had him on the team. Might as well have me on the team, bro. <laughs> nah. All right. Worst book in the crew. The Wizards beat the Nets in the last, like, in the last couple of seconds, bro. This game was freaking ridiculous. This was, like, the second highest scoring game in the past 25 seasons. They scored 295 points together, bro. They won in the last second, bro. They beat James Harden in the crew. That's crazy. Westbrook had 41 points. 41 points, my God, man. You know, that's what he do for his team. You know, that's how he's coming. He's been, he been, he been practicing his whole life. You know, that's what he's doing, man. You know, he's stuck. <laughs> I was talking to Seth about it. Seth was like, oh, my goodness. I was like, bro, the only thing I have to say about that is who gave this man cocaine? Who gave this man cocaine again? Like, <laughs> man, he started wilding out. He ran up on some guy with some ja- with a long jacket. He said, yo, man, got the stuff. What's going on with you? He's like, oh, for real? The white stuff? He said, that's the only stuff I got. It's <laughs> wild, man. All right. So, the Jazz got 10 wins in a row. I said they got the best record in the NBA right now. So, the Jazz are doing very well. Yeah, the Jazz my team, man. We go, bro, man. It's like top five sevens for real. Bro, the Jazz is not your team, man. Stop lying on your name, bro. What you mean? It's my third team. I ain't even... He said third team. <laughs> how's, that your, how's that your team when it's your third team, though? It is my third team. Bro, what's your first team? I like the Bucks. And, you know, and then it goes to Suns. And then it's Utah Jazz. Oh, okay, okay. You got my respect. I like the Bucks. I like the Bucks. Yeah, y'all is going crazy right now. Yeah. So, Jimmy Butler lost 12 pounds when he had the virus. I didn't even know he had the virus. You knew that? Jimmy Butler, when he's sick, what he got? No, no. You used to have the COVID-19, bro. I didn't even know that. I didn't even know that either. Homeboy lost 12 pounds. He lost 12 pounds. He good? How he doing? I mean, he looks good. He looks good now. I mean, like, his mustache was looking crazy when you were playing the basketball. Ball, but like you look good now. Zion Wilson Sin has the highest field goal ever in any player starting off on 40 games. It's like percentage is 58. Wild, you don't know how I feel about that, man. That shit wild, man. I would have never thought, like for real. I would have never thought for real. <laughs> I would have never thought so. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, next news, best on the West. I already told you the Jazz is on top with 16 wins and five losses, and the Sixers are still on top on the East, bro, with 15 wins and six losses. Man, I'm hyped, bro. The Sixers gonna take it, man. Ooh, Go to crazy, the finals. Bro. Yo, that's crazy. You said the Sixers on top. Man, I'm not hyped. Listen, bro. I, would, I always knew they was great on the inside and out, man. And that's how we doing in society nowadays. <laughs> Themselves up just like the Sixers. That's what I'm trying to be. All right, all right. <laughs> we go out into other sports news. So, the Washington football team head coach, Ron Rivers. Rivers? Rivers? I'm probably saying it wrong, but I don't know. He is cancer free for like, yeah, he just got cancer free. So, that's what's up. That's real what's up, man. I'm glad he like healthy, chilling, walking around. Man, pray, praise the God, man. Okay. 
Jake Paul will be fighting Ben Arkins. Arkins? On um, April 17th. He's going to be doing eight rounds with it. Yo, you think you'd take on Jake Paul? You saying Jake Paul is fighting who? Ben, I think X, Akron, Akron, Akron. Okay, Google Translate, save me now. Do not know how to pronounce his last name. I can tell because I don't know who you took in the Dude, I have no idea who that is. Askren. Hey, yo, Askren, Askren. Yo, yo. Wasn't he fighting? I thought he was fighting Conor McGregor. What happened with that? Bruh, dude, Conor McGregor did not want that shit, bruh. It's like his manager said, yo, stop saying my name, bruh. <laughs> he went five. Yeah, but now he's fighting somebody else, bruh. And like, I think that's two months from now. So, yeah. I don't know who's going to win because like, Jake Paul hasn't lost yet. He hasn't lost yet, but he ain't really had... Competition. Damn, you gonna say that to Nate Robinson? Listen, he that was an old boy that he was retired off the end. <laughs> think about it, like that's like if you he was really thinking he was top dog and he wasn't. And you know, pro- everybody was probably gassing his head like you're not gonna stand too too high there. It's just some random white boy that was just boxing. Nobody really had high expectations for him. Uh, you know what I'm saying? He had the underdog advantage, and that's the only reason why he won. Because he wasn't preparing himself. He really thought he was top dog and he really wasn't. Yo, how you let yourself get knocked out like that on TV, though? You got knocked the fuck out. Bruh, you, dude, I let you know, Darnell, I, you never want to catch me on TV getting knocked out like that. Fuck that, bruh. So I would have just canceled that joint, bruh. I ain't gonna hold you. You probably got a nice little check. If it was me, I'll go ahead and box and I'll get knocked the fuck out. Dude, dude, everybody on your block gonna make fun of you, bruh. Full bill for that? What? I don't put it that so quick. I don't care. Nobody knows my name. Bruh. Right, right. He disappeared after that. When the last time you hear him talk? But the thing about Nate Robinson, he didn't have to do that. Though. He was in the NBA. Like he could have just been retired, been a star, been cool and straight. Yeah, now everybody making fun of him. But it's not like me or you trying to feel me. Nobody really trying to get up there with them. Right. I want that twelve mil and I'm out. That's it. Bro, no, man. If I get myself knocked out, knocked out on television, man, they probably gonna come on there. He's like, yo, is that thumb? He's like, yeah, that's thumb, man. I'm like, why they call you thumb? Twelve million. How much was that fight worth? It was a, it was at least twelve million, bro. Everybody yeah. got fed. Everybody got fed, fed in that ring. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Did you know Logan Paul was gonna fight Mayweather? He was gonna fight Mayweather. I, I did hear about that. Now is that still actually going on? With that? I mean, it got postponed indefinitely, so maybe. But I would say that fight though. Like that's stupid though. What I heard though. Is- like him just like talking a bunch of shit and he finally just agreed with just knocking him the fuck out. Why, why, he, why Logan Paul think he can lay his hands on him? He couldn't even beat KSI. Who KSI? Dude, that's the, the UK fool. Yeah. He can box though. I mean, not really. Like when I was watching, <laughs> but it's, it's like he had a heart though, boy. Like you can tell he was really swinging. Like, like and you know, I respect that. But you can tell like they was all rooting for Logan Paul. And yo, 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 yo. Who was rooting for Logan Paul? They was just rooting for him. And like in America, it was. Like he was a UK boy. Nobody really knew like that. So you feel me? It was more like everybody in America was kind of like supporting like Logan Paul a little bit. Not everybody. Because you had, you know, at the same time, you had Rick Ross, Lil Baby, and they had got the song with him. <laughs> the fight. And, you know, I was like, damn, he really kind of connected down here. But you know he paid for the features. I didn't know who he was. So, <laughs> I think that was his little brother, actually, though. But you can tell, like, he, he like they was really gassing that shit. Logan Paul was thinking he was the shit. Like, I'm telling you, they be thinking they top dog, and then they really die on top. They be getting, like, fucked up, they be, It's the unexpected. He had the under underdog advantage, I'm telling you. Yeah, but he fought McGregor, too, like. McGregor was an underdog. Yeah, who, who fought McGregor? No, Mayweather. Yeah, I did hear about that. And he still won, right? So, I mean, like... Dude, he was just playing with McGregor the maybe whole time, bro. interested in four fights because it's not like I'm really expecting him to lose. Bro, he's the Tim Duncan of boxing, bro. You respect his yeah. game, but it's boring as hell to see him play. Yeah, because I'll be hearing he be bare out of this shit a lot. But it's like, you know, he ain't never lost. So, it's like he either did his first loss or, like... I mean, what is he... How many matches he been in? He like oh for fucking fifty. Fifty, yeah. So it's like he, he already got a bag. He like rich as fuck. It don't matter. No, he don't need a fight. He good. If he lost, they gonna say it's cause he old now. That's all it is. He, he really don't. Like, bro, bro, you know how old he is? I don't even know. He probably what like 40, 50s? 
Dude, I think he's in his 30s. I, I don't know. I don't have to look that up. All right. So, that's the end of the other sports news. And we're going to hop straight into my favorite part of the show. One-on-one. Let's get it. All right. Magic Johnson versus Tim Duncan. Who you got, bro? Who you got? Listen, I think I'm going to have to go for my man's magic, man. You know what I'm saying? I think he really got it. Because, you know, I don't know. Tim Duncan, he, he, he nice and all that. But Magic, you know what I'm saying? Magic Johnson, Magic Johnson. What about that defense, though? Tim Duncan defense is on. Man, but just in this Magic Johnson, I, 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 I don't care about Tim Duncan's defense if it wasn't Magic Johnson. But it's Magic Johnson. Magic, come on, man. You can't be sleeping on Tim Duncan, though. Listen, I don't sleep on Tim Duncan. So you telling me you got Tim Duncan? I didn't say that, bro. You just don't get crazy now. But <laughs> don't get crazy now. Bad defense for Tim Duncan. I mean, all right, all right. That, that break it down. That break it down. Who got the better shot? Matt Johnson. <laughs> Matt Johnson. <laughs> Matt Johnson. Bro, bro, bro. Duncan don't have a shot, bro. That, that's hit it that way. All right. Post game, Magic Johnson. I'm telling you, it's Magic Johnson. It's, it's self explanatory to Magic Johnson. I don't give a fuck about Tim Duncan. Mid range, Magic Johnson. Dang. I suck the triangle over here. Dang. It's Magic, man. Dang. Even in defense. Oh, man. Tim Duncan, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry I picked you up to this guy, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, there you go. Hold on. Maybe I'll put you up to uh, Eric Snow. <laughs> Dude. Oh, my God. Eric Bledsoe on the Pelicans, though, man. Nah. Put his ass on the Bucks, man. Oh, my God, man. Bro, that's your guy who belonged on the bench, bro. Dude, he keeping that bench hella warm. He like, thank you. <laughs> he like, thank you, man. This is be cold. He said, yo, that's my job. <laughs> On the team with a bunch of babies, man. Lonzo Ball, baby. Lonzo Ball, no, no, no. Lonzo Ball is all right. He's an all right kid. He's gonna get better along the way. Boy. His brother is a monster, though. His brother better than him. His brother, his younger brother. By far, bro. By far. I'm gonna tell him he's playing like John Wall, bro. I'm like, yo, he killing it. <laughs> watch his highlights because that shit is wild. Yo, you saw you saw when he uh t- slammed it? Yeah, I just seen it. I was watching it the other day. I feel like Lonzo's becoming more of a team player. He's not trying, you feel me? He's not trying to really shine right now. He's trying to just get onto like... Bro, can he really shine though? Like, let's be honest. Like, I don't I think... don't think he can. To no. be honest, like, personally, I don't think he can. But I feel like he'll age well down the line. Bro, you know who he's going to be? He's going to be the next Sean Livingston. You know who that is? <laughs> you know who that is? <laughs> Yo, he got a ring though. Like you can't say that, but he still got his ring. But like, <laughs> who's Sean Livingston though? Like for real, <laughs> nobody will remember who that is. So that's gonna be the whole show. Unless we want to talk about something else. What you want to talk about, bro? Listen, bro. Listen, man. I need to talk about how you try to get verified on YouTube, man. What you about to do for that, man? Bro, you know, you know. Tax some shit money up the sum, so I'm not doing enough. You not doing enough. Put this shit up. I need that little YouTube click, man. We're Rick at. I need my man's Rick. Say I need it all in this, man. We going to do something. I'm tired of you not slacking. Put them skills up, man. Stop playing, man. Bro. It collabs up. Bro, you don't know, I know, man. You must not know, man. I do a collab every Wednesday, Tuesday, Thursday. I need some more questions that's going to keep me looking at your, at your feed. I need them thumbnails like, yo, why Dell Tech ass? I need to know. <laughs> why did everybody look at that video? It is. I'm looking at that video, bro. I need some basketball videos coming up because they don't know that you nice at ball, so They don't know. They don't know. You got to show them. You got to show them. I need to get the highlights in. Could be the next flight reaction. What are you doing? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I know you did not dis- disrespect me. You did not just dis- disrespect me, bro. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You they just call me the, the next flight reaction? Flight reaction is so shit at ball. Bro, 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 bro. I'd rather call me the Eric Snow, bro. They call me the nice flight. They, yo, don't I'm ever, saying, don't ever like, disrespect my name you're ever you're again, bro. Posting a video. Do that, you know, get you. Nah, that fall that fall guy video is funny as shit though. I give you that. I need to see I need to say this I need to see Sean's fucking routine. I need to see the diets. I need to see the food. 
dudes because they don't know what you really be doing. They know you're a professional trainer. They don't know what you really be doing out here. Like, you, be, you be having a diet on point. He got a gym in his basement. Man, he got everything set up, man. They don't need to know about that, man. They don't need to know. <laughs> they don't even know. And I'm just like, you don't even putting it out there. You need to put them thumbnails up because you can make some quality content. Get the young boy that you was playing with on a team the other day. Get him in here, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to my boy, um, Young Sutter, by the way. And shout out to Evan, um, uh, Evan Channel, because this is going to be on his YouTube yeah, channel. Him, the, the dude that be singing and all that, what's the, the dude's name is, I think it was Chris Anthem. I seen him, he collabed with a, a bunch of young boys on my block. I seen him with, with yeah, he cool. Y'all start collabing with him, so I'll put their music out. You, so <laughs> you can do a little talent show on your podcast, record it, put it up. You know what I'm saying? Just keep watching and be a you know, co- community because I, I feel like you can just do that shit. Uh, check out my, um, what do you call it? Black History Month video from last year. I posted in my uh, trailer. It will pop straight up when you go to my channel on PT Sean YouTube channel. Check that out. Check that out. All right. So this has been the foul line. We'll be taking a couple shots. Talk a little foul. PT Sean over here. My boy Darnell. Darnell, you want to do any, any more shout outs? Shout outs, man. Shout out my guys, Daddy, and uh, uh, Elder Kid, man. I got my guy Marcus, man. Moving soon, man. All my guys, man. Other than that, no, we good. Nah, I like to get a shout out my boy uh, Darnell Hairline. He is hiding it very well behind that bandana. I don't know what his face look like, but he might look crazy. I don't know. <laughs> Listen, we not even on camera. We good. <laughs> we not on camera. Bet. Okay. So they stop. They stop. <laughs> All right. All right, man. Y'all be good. Y'all be healthy. Y'all keep dribbling on the good side of life. See you.